Hello. Some things that very few people know about how EMAC cartridge blocks are made for EPIC filters. Now, this is the EPIC filter mat cartridge block assembly plant that you are viewing before you. And um, staff at the moment comprise of two employees, namely Peter Waddington and Hilary Waddington. We are in good stocks at the moment and we have everything ready to prepare some cartridge blocks. So this is what I'm about to show you. Now, these are the end sheets for the Epic filters and they come delivered to me pre-drilled and with a plastic film on them, which should be removed. Now, we always take great care in removing this and throwing the plastic film away. This is the smaller end sheet for filters such as the Epic Compact Filter and the Epic Compact Filter Plus. Again, the protective sheets need removing. Now we get on to clever stuff. We need specialist tools in order to assemble the filters. And the first thing is this specialist tool I bought for £6.95 at Winfield's Outdoor Shop. And what it does, it allows me to make these holes slightly bigger. Now, the reason I want these holes to be slightly bigger is because they've been drilled a little bit too small. But with this specialist tool, <coughs> I can resolve that problem. These holes on the ends of the smaller filter are perfect, so I don't need to do that. Now, to continue. These black items are book screws. They are threaded internally and they need to be held securely in place on my end bars. So there's one. And there is the other and this is something that I usually do when the blocks are being assembled these two devilishly clever things happen to be locking washers and they hold the nylon black bush screws firmly into place. Now do not try to push these down with your thumbs or you'll break the thumbs, be assured. So this is where more specialist tools are needed. Again, my pliers from Winfields. And this happens to be a lump hammer. 
So excuse the noise. That's not the locking washer into place. So I'll get another one on this side. And with my specialist tools, lock that into place. Can you see? Now, this is the bottom part of the cartridge block. So the same has to be done for the top part of the cartridge block. Namely, push them tightly through the expanded holes. And then place on the locking washers as so. One. And two. Now that's the top, and it can be put out of the way at the moment because what's needed next are the stainless steel threaded bars. Now, these can easily be screwed into the book screws and length is absolutely vital here. You must screw them until they screw no more because the length of the cartridge block is absolutely paramount. So that's it. Almost. I've screwed both the six milli stainless steel threaded bars firmly into the book screws which have been secured by the locking washers. Now that really is my part of the job completed. I've got the bottom and I've got the top. Now Hillary completes the rest of the work and I will show you how she does it now. <clears throat> She's just getting her tools into order now. Now, these sheets are delivered to us already drilled <coughs> at the factory. But the first sheet has to have the holes widened slightly in order to sit tight and close to the base of the end sheet. Push down firmly, of course. Now the next items happen to be nylon washers. These are 30 centimeters diameter, three milli thick, and they are pre-drilled with a six milli hole. Now before Hillary puts the next sheet on, these washers are put into place.
Ready for the next sheet now. This doesn't need any adjustment to the holes that are already pre-drilled pre in the sheets. And so this process continues until the cartridge blocks are made up. Of course, this is a lengthy process. As you can see. But Hillary likes doing this because she's paid with many bottles, litre bottles, of Southern Comfort. So she quite enjoys the job. Therapeutic. Therapeutic. Now, obviously, we can't wait. We haven't got the time to wait until this cartridge block is assembled for completely. So I'll hand the camera back to Hillary and continue the video. This is This is an epic block already completed for the smaller epic filters such as the epic compact filter and the epic compact plus filter. But as you can see, the end bar allows a gap underneath it and above it if you wish to change it or you wish to do that with it <laughs> this allows dirt or in more basic terms crap to exit below the filter when you do a discharge the same applies to the larger epic block. Again, there's a space underneath and the space above should you wish to turn it upside down. Now it may look like a solid wall or they may look like a solid wall but they're not because they have three milli spacers in between each sheet. Now three milli will not seem to be much as allowing water to pass through which it does successfully. However Again, the smaller cartridge block. Three milli gaps will allow sufficient water to pass through, but in a horizontal flow application, I doubt that any other waste particles could get past this. Now, I do hope you've enjoyed your visit to the Epic Filter Factory Cartridge Assembly Department. Oh, and here's an Epic Compact Plus filter 
are waiting to be sent out to the customer. Thank you for watching.